Let's talk about multi-tracking in Pro Tools LE. We've got 32 tracks to play with. I have a session with an existing piano part. I want to overdub some guitar. So let's go ahead and create a new track. Our microphone is plugged into Source 1, so we want to use the Source Selector switch to select microphone. We're using a condenser microphone, so make sure the phantom power is on. You push that in the back, in the upper right hand corner, and you'll see the red indicator. If you're not sure if your mic requires phantom power, consult the microphone's owner's manual. One important thing, before we record enable the track, make sure that your monitors or amplifier are turned off and that you're using headphones to monitor the live microphone signal, otherwise you might get feedback. Now in the mix window, let's make sure our input is set to mic line 1. Now it's safe to record on the track. At this point, you may hear a slight delay in the headphones. This is due to latency, the time it takes for our input signal to be processed by the computer. We can compensate for this by muting the actual return track in Pro Tools and using the mix ratio knob on the front of the M-Box to blend our live input signal and the Pro Tools playback tracks. OK, we don't have any more delay in our headphones. We're ready to record. Let's hit the return to zero button to make sure we're at the top of the song and record arm the transport. Hit the space bar and we're ready to record. Two, three, four. Okay, we've done our first multi-track overdub and we want to listen back to it. All you have to do is disarm the record enable on the track, unmute it, and hit the spacebar to play back. It's that easy. <laughs> 